What's going on there, guys? Um, doing another quick jersey review of Nike jerseys. Not Nike, because I know some of you guys had an issue with me saying Nike, even though I say it like that, but whatever. Um, this is going to be the Nike Color Rush Legend jersey. Um, I know they got them on team websites, NFL Shop, Fanatics. Um, they retail for about $80, $70. And uh, this is the George Kittle one I got for Christmas for the Niners. It's a throwback 94 one. I think it's one of my new favorite jerseys. Uh, we're going to go over pros and cons and compare them to the game jerseys. So these are, I think game jerseys go for $100. They're the screen print. The uh, limited ones, which are stitched, are about 150 And then the elite jerseys are um, about 300 plus. So we're just going to go over, compare it to, this is a lower tier from the screen print. But I think I like these a lot better, and I'm going to give you a few reasons why. But uh, extra large, it's all dry fit material, just like the um, Vapor Untouchable jerseys that I showed you a while back. Um, that's good. I'm 5'10", about 225, probably add a couple because I've been eating a lot for the holidays. Um, anyways, also happy the Niners beat the Cardinals yesterday, and um, I know it doesn't mean anything because we're not going to the playoffs, but it was a rough year. Anyways, so this type is called a dye sublimation or a dye sublimated, uh, meaning that the, the colors or the design is printed or woven into the material and is completely flush, right? So I'm gonna do a close up to show you the difference between the the um, color rush jerseys versus the limited, sorry, not limited um, game jerseys. But super comfortable, I like it a lot better. Honestly, it's more comfortable than any of my stitch jerseys that I have and a lot cheaper, uh, a lot less expensive, and I um, feel like it's more appropriate to wear when you go around town or if you're having a cookout or got a bunch of friends over. Because the only one thing I don't like about having a stitched jersey is I feel like I have to be more careful with it because it's stitched. It's expensive. It's a $150 jersey. I feel like I got to take care of it more. This one, not so much. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's dye sublimated, extra large, Nike. It's a color rush jersey. And so I'm going to turn it around and just show you real quick what it is. Um, so this is a Richard Sherman Color Rush um, Nike jersey. This right here is the Navarro Bowman screen print um, limited, not limited, sorry, game jersey, right? This one goes for about $70, $80 online. This one goes for about 100 right? What's the difference? Okay. Both. Woven Joctad, um, very basic. It's not the metallic one like on the Vapor Untouchable jerseys. It's the same collar, same, right? It's very simple, very simple. Nothing, none, I know the, the old limited jerseys had the um, fly wire on it and then the newer Vapor Untouchables have that nice little diamond patch cut in. These are very basic. Now. If you look at the numbers, don't worry about some of that stuff. That's just from a while back when I was cooking out and I got it dirty. So um, this is dry fit, 100%. Very soft, very comfortable, no issues. There's color rush right there. Dye sublimated. Now, if you look real close, it's woven into the material. There's nothing, there's nothing there where you feel anything, right? Even on the sleeves, the Nike logo. It's woven in or dyed into the material. Same thing with the stripes. Come over here to the, um, the game jersey. You can tell, you can hear that. This has a thick layer of whatever they use for the screen print that's like basically pasted onto the jerseys. What I don't like about this, you have to be care very careful when you wash these because over time, these are going to start peeling off. And to me, that's the one thing I don't like about these is that where for the money that you pay, they wear off. If you see this Nike one, I even wash my jerseys very carefully inside out. And now it's starting to chip away some of the screen print that's coming off of the jersey. Over here, you're not going to have this problem because 
it is dyed into the material so it's going to stay there and it's safe to wash and it doesn't bleed at all which is great um obviously you want to wash your jerseys with light colors and always wash them inside out but this stuff it's um you can tell it's thick it's on there but eventually it's going to start coming off right um yes the game jerseys do have the mesh panel still uh this is not dry fit this is also a large these run a little bit bigger um i like it it's still really comfortable but i think for a hundred dollars it's not worth it for the money you pay for long one. You might as well go stitched, right? Because stitch numbers, even if it comes off, you can always get it stitched on. You look at it right here. This is starting to come off too already. Almost done. It's my wife bugging me. Anyways, so that's kind of the differences. Um, again, price difference, less expensive. To me, it's better quality, the numbers and everything put on versus pay more for 100 screen print not as good might as well just get the x pay the extra 50 bucks and get a stitched one if you want to save your money i'd go with this one anyways uh, that's my quick review hope you guys like it um i don't have any recommendations as far as sizing uh everyone's body shape is different everyone's height and weight's different um best advice i can give you about jerseys buy what you think works try it on uh, leave the tags on it if you don't like it uh, replace it send it back uh, get a bigger size smaller size whatever all right we gotta go why smoking me bye